gonna love these reuse places. Just found this. Which I think I might be able to do something with. I don't know what they're asking. Well, let's go and find out. So it's just down at the tip, took a load, borrowed the son-in-law's trailer, paid a fortune to get rid of a bunch of old crappy doors and stuff, but that's fair enough. Uh, so yeah, while I was cruising around, they've got a reuse centre there, and um, I found these. So what do you reckon I could do with that? It's a set of uh, calipers, or brake, brake calipers, I suppose you call them, for, for bike, a kid's bike, I'm guessing, a little girl's bike, probably. Uh, so anyway, when I saw that action, I thought, hang on, let's look at that. Right hand, angle here and the ability to compress there so technically you can squish that so i've got a bit of a plan so i got that and while i was there my laptop's got crappy speak a crappy speaker so got these two that just should plug in hopefully a whole lot five bucks bargain righto so we will just uh, strip this little brake caliper down Righto, so there's no more mystery now. This is an impeller inside a raw water pump off an inboard motor on a boat. And the brakes to the kid's bike are here. And what I did was I turned them into a very multicolored tool. Yes, I know, I know. The yellow heat shrink is actually uh, to assist in not damaging this. So yes, it's a raw water pump impeller puller for two dollars so let's give it a go and see if it works the concept is you get this uh, down around the impeller and then you close it up and you pull the impeller out and so we will try and get down see this bit here say there and there uh, you want to get inside without damaging the veins of the impeller so you just push get it in there get that one in there the beauty of the heat shrink 
um, is that if this touches the outside of the casing, it doesn't damage it because it's just rubber. You just gently push that down till it won't go any further. That feels like it's right towards the back. It might not be behind it, but it's right towards the back. So then ideally, this is uh, normally how it is on a motor that's, that's bolted to the motor. And you just grab this. It's now got a good tight fit and you just pull it out and away you go. You can see there how it's grabbed in here and in there. And uh, that way you're not doing any damage. So if you just want to inspect your water pump impeller and then maybe put it back because, you know, it's only been a year and it's fine and you, you think it's okay. Or if you drove over a sandy bar and you're worried that it could have got damage. That way you can just pull it out and you're only hitting the bottom of the, the impeller. You're not touching the veins as such. So these are the most important parts when you're in the water pump. Okay, so that's my $2 kids push bike brakes um, water pump impeller pool. I hope this helps you out if you think you might want to make something similar.